Hey guys, it's Fiona Edgar here. This is just a really quick update about the full moon that is happening tonight or early tomorrow morning, depending on which location you are. So the full moon is in Aquarius and it's making a conjunction to Saturn. So it could be a little bit difficult. There may be some feelings of pessimism that come over briefly. So what you really need to do to get over to overcome any issues that you might experience during this lunation is to really take the mature approach, think about things carefully. So you may be noticing a little buildup of something uh, of tension in the air. Uh, maybe you can feel this kind of simmering temper coming from yourself or, or from other people. Now, the reason because that is because Algol, that demon star, uh, the one that I used to predict the war in Ukraine, you can look down on my other videos for that. But that Mars is actually going to conjunct Algol on the 14th or the 15th, depend, depending on which location you are. So right now, it's in an applying aspect. When an aspect is applying, it's getting strong, okay? So the kind of climax, to use a bad word, is going to occur when the conjunction is exact. So there could be stuff brewing here. Algol itself is known to send people a little bit nuts. It's also said to be connected with decapitations. Obviously, that doesn't really happen an awful lot anymore. But you can see this as a metaphor for people losing their heads, getting a little bit crazy, people on the internet flaring up or old drama that you've kind of experienced before. Now, in a global sense, you could see stuff happening here with this full moon and into the period over the next few days when the Mars conjuncts Algol. I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be, but Algol is pretty dangerous. So uh, when Hiroshima happened, Mars was actually conjunct Algol. Now, it doesn't mean that it's going to be a disaster because Mars has a cycle of two years. So it actually will conjunct Algol quite frequently. But you could see a flare up of something globally. It is connected to kind of violence and stuff like that. So possibly something to do with that. But just in your own personal bubble, you may see some drama happening. So it's best to really try and keep a cool head. Now, Saturn is definitely going to help us along with that because he is about making wise decisions, trying to keep a cool head, try and be cold. So that's what I'm, I'm feeling this heat from Mars. But if you take, if you tap into the positive side of this, this kind of the Saturnian side of this full moon, Saturn is a very measured planet. It's when you use Saturn, you don't blow up quickly. You don't lose your head you don't lose your mind it's okay to be a little bit cold think with your left brain rather than being ruled with your emotions which is something that a lot of people really need to do nowadays instead of taking everything personally and thinking that the world owes you something because you're emotionally upset so think logically so the full moon it's conjunct saturn and then fr venus is going to be freshly into leo during this full moon so that in itself can cause a little bit of drama uh, because it is known to be quite a dramatic placement, although it is it is a nice placement. Uh, you should see a bit of excitement in your love life, but could there also could be a little bit of jealousy there too because Venus in Leo is known to be a bit of a diva. So we're all going to be feeling a little bit like that. Now, this the full moon does square Uranus, so you could have some unexpected changes happening with this. What they are, it's really hard to predict where when Uranus is involved because it really is the planet, planet of chaos and stuff that just comes along that you didn't really see coming. So you will see some kind of limitations, but there's also going to be some, like a little bit of a chaotic energy that comes along that you didn't, that may upset the apple cart in some way. So it's also about your own personal freedom, your values, and your own self-esteem. So all of those are going to come up over the next few days, but those the effects of this full moon are going to be lasting for like the next two weeks. 
So whatever is happening here, try to go with any changes that you need to go with. If you have been stuck, you Uranus has a real uh, knack for coming along and just changing everything. Because if you're resistant to any kind of movement in your life or change, Uranus will come along and wreck it and you'll have no choice but to go along with it. So there could be some... Uh, like I said, there could be a little bit of like somberness. Maybe you're feeling a bit heavy or slightly bleak, but that's normal for when we are dealing with Saturn because he is known to cause those feelings. So the three Taurus planets are also involved in this. We've got Mars, Uranus and the, the North Node, which isn't the planet, it's a hypothetical point. But they're all fighting with each other here they're fighting for control of the ego the self-esteem then there's the fin financial stuff this could be a big moon for finances one way or another because of this kind of stellium and taurus that we have so we'll see how this manifests now the good the good thing about this full moon is that believe it or not even with all of the chaotic energy saturn here and he isn't domicile so when Saturn is in domicile, he's going to ex be expressed well without any hindrances because Saturn is the original ruler of Aquarius. So it shouldn't be too bad, but it's about pl planning and structure and being mature and, and making wise decisions in your life so that you don't lose your head. Other people don't lose their heads, but you will notice uh, a flare up of drama probably. Now, what you should do is act like Saturn. Be the Saturn. If there is any lunacy or drama and it's affecting you in a very negative way, what Saturn does is Saturn is connected to endings. So he gets out of sight and cuts away the stuff that is stopping you from growing, stopping you from being like an adult and mature. So be the Saturn. I'm not saying be an asshole, but... Be cold if you have to, to avoid the, the chaos and the drama. So that was all that I wanted to say. Just do, I probably will record another short video on the 14th to remind you that Mars is going to conjunct, conjunct Algol, which can cause all kinds of spiciness. It is conjunct now, but it is, it is applying. So it's going to get stronger. Uh, over the next few days so just to warn you there may be some ren fading for you for those of you that are familiar with that term but uh yeah just be mature and things will be okay there isn't really much going on in this in this actual chart apart from that it is a very strong lunation because what we have here is a very ugly t-square in fixed signs so there's going to be a real People are going to be extremely stubborn as well. So if there's anything that goes on uh, or you've been thinking of verbalizing your feelings to someone, it's probably best to wait until after this full moon is over because it's probably not going to go down very well. Other people are going to be very resistant to your opinions. So that's all that I wanted to say, guys. Uh, do try and enjoy it. Some good activities to do during this lunation would be to spend some time in nature definitely ground yourself because saturn is, a, is an anchored planet it's not floating off in the sky thinking about nonsense uh it's it's anchored in this realm with his feet firmly in the ground and that is definitely what we should try to do also okay thanks for joining me guys i'll be back again soon